Okay, today we're doing a video on a Honda Odyssey. This is a 2019 Honda Odyssey. We're gonna do the oil change. Here's what you're gonna to need to get the task done. Okay, first off, new oil filter. This is an original Honda part. There's the part number. And then you're gonna need the oil. Zero W20, you need six quart, you need you need to buy six quarts, but it only takes five and a half. So we'll fill up all of this. This is five quarts. We'll dump in half of this. 5.5 quarts. You will need a 17 millimeter socket or wrench to take off the drain plug. And then I'm gonna use some channel locks to get the filter off. And then I'm just gonna hand tighten it on. It that, that works just fine. You need a large funnel to be able to fill up the oil. The oil fill spots down kind of in a weird spot. You need a large, like a long uh, funnel to be able to access that area. And then an oil catch pan. One other thing you're gonna need, this is the secret to this oil change. You're gonna need, this is a Ziploc bag, a freezer bag, and it's double bag. This is a gallon size. Quart size works best, but really any size bigger than quart size works good. I'm gonna show you how this prevents all the spilling when it comes to the oil filter. This is the real secret to this, this oil change to making it as mess-free as possible. So stay tuned to show you how this works. Here we are at the front of the car. I've got the oil pan slid underneath. I want my light here. I'm gonna show you where the drain plug is to take off with the 17 millimeters. Okay, I'm going under the front here. This is the passenger side tire. You come just straight back. You can see the oil pan here. And it even says on here, engine oil. So you can't make a mistake here. The nice thing with the plug being on the back of the pan is when you, when you put this on ramps or jack up the front, you're gonna get all the oil out because it's on a slope and it's all gonna come out right at the back. So having it jacked up in the front is really ideal because you'll get all the oil out of that. Okay, I'm just putting the drain bolt back in. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in just a little bit and then I'm gonna get a paper towel, wipe up all the drips. Okay, it's hand tight. I'm just gonna get the wrench out and tighten it down. Okay, it's all tight. Now we're gonna work on the oil filter. As a reference to the location of the oil filter, so here's the, this is the passenger side tire, front passenger tire. The oil filter is gonna be behind this cross member. So I'm going to move the camera so that we can uh, give you a good sh shot of that. And I'm going to use that Ziploc bag like I showed you. Okay, I'm, uh, front bumper's right here, front passenger tire's here. So if you go in right through right here, right behind this flap, you see your blue oil filter there. Okay, so here's the oil filter. I'm going to take the channel locks and I'm just going to use, I'm going to clamp onto it and I'm just going to turn it counterclockwise to, to break it, just kind of break the seal. And then I'm going to hand, uh, screw it off by hand after I get that loosened. Okay, right there, that's, a, that's all you want to loosen it. Now, I'm going to get my bag. Got my Ziploc bag. Okay, make sure you open it up good. And I'm gonna put the bag around the filter. So I'm gonna reach around the back, make sure I it's all the way around it.
And now I'm gonna now what I'm doing is I'm just turning it. So now I'm just turning it since I have it broken loose, it's turning. I wanna make sure I keep the I wanna make sure I keep the bag around the filter. Okay, it's starting to get loose now. I'm, gonna, I'm just pulling up the bag. Okay, I can feel the oil. The oil's starting to leak out now, which is fine. We got the bag to catch it all. You can see the bag starting to get some oil in it. The filters are just turning it a little bit more. In a second here, it's just gonna drop off. All right, it's off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let that sit there for a second, let the oil drain out of it. And then after I, after I can tell the oil stopped dripping from the oil filter uh, assembly, I'm just gonna remove the bag and wipe it up. So as you can see, this bag catches all of the oil and because it's double bagged, I don't have to worry about spilling. I've done it with a single bag and it's actually leaked through. So double bag it, make it make it a little more sturdier. And then it makes for just an easy disposal. No, There's no messes. I don't even have to have the, the oil pan, the oil catch can underneath here because there's no oil going to drip out of here. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. I'm just going to pull the bag down now. I just want to make sure I keep the... Actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to stick a paper towel on the oil filter housing here and just kind of clean up some initial spilling. Okay, I'm just pulling this down now. Now I'm wiping up the... I'm wiping up the filter assembly here with a rag. So as soon as I take that off, I've got a rag ready to wipe this off. Guys, I just, I basically just did this oil filter with no spillage, nothing spilled at all, which is awesome. I've seen some videos with people like laying like, you know, aluminum foil down here to funnel off. Guys, if you let oil drip down on this control, where the control arm comes down, this, this assembly, frame assembly, you're going to have oil leaks on your driveway and your garage for weeks, just as oil uh, slowly drips off this. So if you can avoid that. This bag method is great. Okay, just doing a final wipe down of this, and then I'm gonna get the new filter ready to go. The new filter just has a cellophane cover over it just to keep debris out of it so we know it's clean. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip, I'm gonna dip this gasket into some oil. So the oil pan's right here below me. And you can see that shiny now. I just want some oil around that that gasket. It helps it seat a little bit. I'm, still... I'm not going to pre-fill this with oil because it just makes too much of a mess trying to get this up there. So it's empty. I don't think pre-filling it is that is necessary. Okay, so I'm just going to get it started here. Okay, you see there? I just got it started. Spinning it on clockwise. Now on the oil filter itself, it says once it's once the gasket touches, it needs about three quarter turns, almost a well, just less than a full turn, all the way around to get it tight. I'm just going to do this hand tight, and you can get it tight enough just by hand. Okay, I took my glove off. I'm just wiping this down, really good. I just want to make sure it's not going to slip as I'm doing it by hand. So I'm just with the towel, I'm just wrapped around here. Okay, I got my in here so you see here you can get it pretty tight with your hands so you just want to get a, a good grip on it and turn it If you try using those channel locks, you'll damage it. So you don't want you don't want to damage the filter. You can't get a cap on it. If you had some kind of a wrench, you could get it. But this is, 
I think this is probably the most effective way. And you get it really tight. Okay, that's about as tight as it'll go. Okay, filter's tight. Just doing a final wipe down, just making sure I get any kind of leaks or oil residue kind of cleaned up. Everything kind of wiped down, ready to go. Okay, now we're gonna go to the engine side and pop the hood, fill up with oil. Okay, you wanna pop the hood open. This is the hood release here. Under the hood here, right below the engine cover is the oil fill hole there. As you can see, the oil cap calls for 020. That's what we're putting in. That's why this is where you need the longer funnel to be able to reach down to here. We have our extra large funnel down to the oil fill. Now we're just getting our oil jug ready to go. Let's put our five quart. And first we'll put all five quarts in. This larger funnel, because it has a smaller tip, it has to go a little bit slower. You don't quite need one this tall, but you do need one with some kind of a spout to get down there, so. So I'm just putting in a little bit at a time, checking. That's about 60%. Let's put a tad bit more. Starting point. So what I'm going to do is put the cap back on this one. The bigger jug, I can use this to fill up with the old oil. So now i got it filled, I'm just going to put the cap back on. And just put it on hand tight. Alright, now I'm just going to dispose of the old oil by recycling it and putting it back into the jug. Okay, we've gotten the old, all the old oil taken care of. Now we're just going to put the hood down, move the vehicle off the ramps, let it run for a few minutes, and then um, check to make sure there's, there's no leaks. And then what I'll do is after maybe a, a short drive, I'll just check the dipstick just to make sure it's within the range. Hopefully that was helpful. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.